how we are going to operate. In cases where MCAs and all manner of quangles are interfering with the, what we are doing in the education sector, arrest them. And let this, let's take them to, yes, let's take them before a magistrate so that the magistrate will read the law for them. Because we have lived with some of this backward behavior for too long and people think that is how we are supposed to live. Just imagine for a moment if today MCAs and some people are telling us who is going to be a principal in a school. Tomorrow they will tell us who is going to be the OCS and OSPT. <laughs> then tomorrow they will tell us who will be the account commissioner. Then they will choose the regional commissioner. What kind of country is that? It will not happen in this country. They need to understand that and they need to get it loud and clear. It will not happen. All public servants, wherever they are, which constitution do they read? Even if they read it upside down, they will understand that you have to serve anywhere in this country. Just pause for a minute. How primitive do we want it to be? I mean, Kenyans are being elected in Australia to be senators. And some guy in some corner of the country is worried about a principal who doesn't come from his village. How can we have Kenyans being told to go back? Go back where? That you don't want you, you want to go back. Regardless of the status of those people, I am asking county commissioners in the room, if any public servant, teacher, doctor, engineer, any public servant who's working in your area of jurisdiction is disturbed, you will take responsibility. And the law is abundantly clear, we will not negotiate that particular behavior. And I want us, yes, I'd like us to follow the example of uh, Mr. Ogola. And I told the Regional Commissioner of Western Province yesterday, the fellow who was disturbing friend school Kamsinga, look for him under the bed, wherever you get him, arrest him. <laughs> yeah. He must be arrested and taken before a magistrate.